Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to day 7 of 13 days of liquid lipstick. Now I cannot believe it's been 7 days already and there is 6 more days remaining. Now on another news, I have finally took the plunge or I should say scissors and chopped off half of my hair. Now I usually color my hair at home always and I also trim my hair a little bit as well as my bangs I trim them but I have never chopped off so much of hair. Now it's not a lot lot but still it's a lot you know you know coming back to topic for today's video i am finally going to do a review and a lip swatch of the pack retro matte gloss liquid lipstick now i know these have been around for quite a long time however i picked these up for the first time only two months back now when people say were you living under a rock yes yes i clearly was <laughs> now there was no rhyme or reason that i'd not pick it up like I knew that they existed obviously but I just never picked it up I guess like there's no reason behind it and uh, finally I got like five shades so as always check out the description box below to see the shades that I paid for myself and foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so if I whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video So these liquid lipsticks are priced at 550 rupees for 6.5 ml of product and they offer 63 shades on Nykaa and 73 shades on their website which is packcosmetics.com. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches. Alright, so let's talk about the formula and first and foremost, these are extremely comfortable on the lips. It's just like second skin. You don't even feel like you're wearing a lipstick on your lips. Like for example, right now I have like two shades mixed up and it still doesn't feel heavy or clumpy or patchy or anything at all. Now these are extremely thin liquid like consistency. At the same time, it is extremely pigmented as well. Now these are transfer proof like for example, like it's 99.5 percent transfer proof and they are very long lasting as well like these will last like a minimum seven to eight hours provided you have like uh, water coffee or tea or some light snacks or meals 
this will last for quite a long time and this is how it looks once you have a very oily heavy meal now to remove it you can just use a plain old micellar water you do not have to use like an oil based cleanser or you know an oil infused micellar water or anything and last but not the least is the price point now for the number of pros and the quantity of 6.5 ml of product i feel the price point is very justified and affordable so yeah that is that about the pros now coming to the cons now there is a con but that's nothing to do with the formula or anything it is to do with the shortage of swatches now i was really surprised two months back that on their website there is zero swatches at all like there's not an arm swatch or a lip swatch or anything it's just a picture of the product and that is it even on the nika app or website they have like a chart which has like the shade color and the number and name that is all and i was kind of surprised that they do not have that at all like i understand that it's not a new launch it's been around for quite a long time there are a lot of youtubers as well as blogs that have already reviewed all of these products but then it is overwhelming when you have 73 products to choose from so just take colourpop for example right like they have a lot of lipsticks like every different kind of lipsticks that they offer now imagine if they come up only with the product picture and there's no swatches at all on their website people will go crazy so that's what i just feel that in this day and age i feel it is like the bare basic necessity to at least have an arm swatch you know like one to ten shades along with the name of the shades as well and the next arm swatch like from 11 to 20 or 21 to 30 you know that kind of thing i'm not even saying like you know hire a model hire a photographer book a studio no no just the basic arm swatch with the name of the shades will be more than sufficient so yeah coming from a new consumer's point of view this is my opinion about the pack retro matte gloss liquid lipstick and this wraps up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it 25 whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or request i will try my best to do it for you as well as follow me on my socials that is it's on instagram and it's on twitter as well so until the next time take care